Uh, my name is Jeff Franks. I'm a farmer in northeast Iowa in Butler County near Shell Rock, Iowa. We've been a long-term no-till and strip-till farmer. Uh, we've transitioned into a spring strip-till operation here. Uh, and we're attending the first national strip-till conference here in Cedar Rapids. And you guys put together an excellent program here. Uh, and I was asked to be put on a presentation about our differences with the spring strip-till. And to illustrate that, uh, my son and I came up with this idea of this visual of a strip-till fertility program versus a broadcast fertility program. Uh, these boards, each board is 30 inches wide, representing a row of corn. We placed, dug out a, a root ball or stalk and cleaned the root, placed that every six inches, which makes, you know, visualizing a 34,000 stand. Uh, and we use the factor of what's called, you know, the fertilizer removal level for 200 bushel corn and took that down, you know, that's that. 360 pounds an acre, a blend of DAP, potash, and AMS. Well, at 360 pounds an acre puts you down to 3.75 grams per square foot. So we weighed that all out and sprinkled it on the board and glued it on there with a the spray of urethane, you know, all that kind of fun project stuff. Uh, to illustrate, okay, here's your root mass. I got fertility laying out here. Our roots are going down 35 inches. The P and K is an immobile nutrient. That's not really doing my crop much good. And then if I drive a 18438 tire across here, you're not going to have any root. And then we come over here, and in our strip till operation, we're banding our fertility, getting a more efficient use out of it. We're applying 75% of what that removal rate is there. So we're putting on 270 pounds an acre, but that's all in a eight inch wide zone. So what that root mass is seeing is 10.5 grams per square foot. If, if I wanted that much fertility under the root mass on the broadcast, I'd have to broadcast 1,010 pounds an acre to get the root to see that same amount of fertility that we're seeing in our strip. And then something we were out doing this root dig here earlier this week and we had a rain about three days prior and it was a real dewy morning and and I've seen that before but the light bulb kind of clicked. That corn is a wonderful funnel of moisture to the root mass. So, and you need moisture to absorb nutrients. So let's put the nutrients where the root is, where the water is going to funnel to, instead of out here where there is no roots, don't have the moisture funneling down. Uh, during the presentation, there's an irrigator from Wisconsin and, and they kind of had some numbers. When you're applying like three tenths of an inch of water, Basically, two-thirds of that water falls right into the root mass, or is funneled by the corn plant into the root system, and only a third of it lands in the middle. So the combination of the two, fertility where the roots are, the plant puts the water where the fertility is, just makes obvious sense to me. So that's how we're raising our corn here for the last, you know, 20 years up in Butler County.